Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 in chapter 23. In this system, we have a hollow spherical conductor, keyword conductor. Tell us the charge distributed at the surface, right? And we know the net charge is a positive Q, has an inner radius R1, the outer radius is R2. And also, we know as the center of this spherical object has a point charge Q over 2, right? Look at this uh, picture. Now, we need to write down the electric field uh, in all three regions, right? So, three regions. First one, R is uh, larger than 0, smaller than R1. So, this one, we can draw a Gaussian surface. And if we draw a Gaussian surface, we can say enclose the charge just Q over 2, right? So you use the, this equation and input Q over 2 as enclosed charge, you get a function look like there. And then the second part is R is larger than R1, smaller than R2, so there. And then we talk about what? This is a conductor. Conductor, the charge is uh, distributed at the surface. So inside the conductor, electric field is 0, so you just write 0. And also, the, when the R is larger than R2, we still draw a Gaussian surface. If we draw a Gaussian surface, we can see enclosed charge becomes Q over 2 plus Q. That is 3Q over 2, right? So 3Q over 2, you input it as enclosed charge, you get a function look like this one. Mm -hmm. The second part is we need to determine the potential. In these three regions, so we write the electric field at there. Okay, now we use the function we learned in our textbook, mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, function we learned is uh, if we choose the reference point as a, so v b the potential difference b with a is just a negative to the integral e dl. Agree, and uh, in this case we can see we can select the infinity, the location, the potential as zero, right? And then we can see the E pointing radically outward. DL also pointing radically outward. So E dot DL just equal to the magnitude of E times DR, right? So in this case, we can see the first part we need to do the integral. Go. We want to find the potentials larger than R2, so it is just come to zero, right? So it is just at there, at there. So we can see if we draw if if we draw a line, you can see from the infinity to this location is there. So the electric field then is covered just larger than R two. This term, agree? Yes. So we can just use the e times dr. So integral from the infinity to R. And then we get a fun look look at answer look like this one, right? The second term R is larger than R R1, smaller than R2, so it's there. Let me change the color. It's there. And still we do integral from the infinity there, V equal to zero. So you can see for this region, we need to split in two parts. First part, it comes to there, right? The E equal to this one. And then it from the, this region to there. The E comes to this one, zero, right? So if we look at this uh, function, that means we need to split this integral in two parts. Infinity to R, infinity to R2, and R2 to R. Agree? Yes. And there we take VA as the infinity. So the, the VA as V infinity, A, RA as infinity, right? This uh, at the infinity, we think the potential as zero. And then also this integral split in two parts, right? The first part is uh, this uh, real term. So it is, uh, it is larger than R2. So this term comes to zero. And it's from the infinity to R2. And this term from the R2 to R. So this one comes to this zero. Right? And then you do the integral. You get the answer at zero. Mm -hmm. 
The next one, the D. D is a R is a larger than zero, smaller than R one, so it is there. Why? Yes. So it looks like from the infinity v equal to zero to this region, the electric field has three different values, right? The first part it comes to the R two. Comes to the R two electric field is this one. And then it from this uh, R2 to R1 electric field is zero. And then from the R1 to R electric field is this one. Right? So that means we can split this integral in three parts. Infinity to R2, R2 to R1. R1 to R, right? So now you can see for each case, you input the corresponding electric field and do the integral. And at this infinity, this V equal to zero. This V equal to zero. And this term is zero, so do the integral. When you are done with integral, you get a function look like this one. And finally, you get the function for, you get the electric function at this region, look like this function, right? Next one, we need to plot V and E as a function of R from the R equal to 0 to R equal to 2 times R2, 2 times R2 at 0. So how can we do that? First thing, we write down the function we just get, right? So it's a function for V, for V, for potential at a different location, for electric field at a different location, we write it there. And you can see this function looks a little bit complicated to plot. So we can replace the term, the constant terms look like this q divided by 8 pi epsilon naught with some constant number, right? So there we know the constant when the r equal to r2, we define this uh, potential as v naught. When r equal to r2, we define this uh, electric field as, as e naught. And then we can replace these uh, terms as the v naught, v naught, v naught with a function of v naught and r, v naught and r, right? Similarly for E, so as E naught with R, as E naught with R, and then we've plotted the picture, look like these two pictures. Thank you.